Today I'm going to be showing you how to run Linux off of a flash drive. In this case I'm going to be showing you Ubuntu, you may have heard of it. And Ubuntu can be run off of a flash drive on modern computers like this one here. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is a flash drive, of course, if you're going to boot it off of a flash drive. This is a 2 gigabyte one, which is plenty. 2 gigabytes is the minimum according to the website, but the file itself only takes up about 750 megabytes, so you could maybe get away with a 1 gigabyte. And that's all of the equipment you should need. You'll also need a computer, of course. Okay, to start out, you're going to go to ubuntu.com, and you're going to go to download. You're going to click on Ubuntu Desktop, and then you're going to download 32 or 64 bit. I'm going to go with 32 bit in this case, and you would click this. Now, I've already downloaded this, so I don't have to worry about it. Next, you're also going to go over to this part of the Ubuntu website and click on Download Pendrive Linux's USB Installer. That will redirect you over here and download the program. This will allow you to write Ubuntu to your flash drive. I'm now going to plug in my flash drive to my computer. And it starts up. Don't scan it. And we're going to open the f folder. It's completely empty, which is good. We're going to go to my documents. Folder and start the program. Now we're going to install Ubuntu 12.10 Desktop or whatever one you chose to download. Now we're going to find the ISO file that you would have downloaded. It would look like this on my computer. And we're going to open that. Now we're going to select our USB drive. That will match the lettering down there. Make sure you get the correct one, otherwise it might mess some stuff up. So mine is K, so we're going to select K. And you can ignore that. Click Create. Say yes to this. That is just deleting everything on the flash drive. Now it is installing Ubuntu to the flash drive. Okay, there's only a few seconds left here. It's 752 megabytes for the total size of the file there. It should finish up any second here. And it says installation done, process is complete. So you can close out of that and close out of any file folders here. Exit out of that and exit out of that. So, now you restart your computer, and it'll say boot options down in the corner somewhere. In my case, it's F12, so we're gonna press that. And press F12, loads up our boot options. And now, it gives us all the options that we have to boot our computer from. And we're going to choose the USB SanDisk Cruiser that matches that flash drive that I'm using there. And then you click enter. Should take a second and it'll load you up with that screen. And it goes through this, all of this stuff. And then it should say Ubuntu right there and the little bar will start scrolling. This will take just a minute. Okay, once you get this far, you're going to click on try Ubuntu. We don't want to install it yet unless you want to, but I'm just gonna try it. And I'll take another second to load up. And there you go, that is Ubuntu right there. So it's kind of, it's a little bit different than Windows, but you can still access all of your files and everything. You've got internet, you've got all sorts of other stuff. There'll be videos in the future, but this was how to run Ubuntu off of a flash drive there. Really simple, and it only takes 
a few minutes to do. The longest part is waiting for Ubuntu to download. Like I said, it's like 750 megabytes. And especially if you have a slower internet connection, that will take a long time to download. I think it took me an hour. So, once you get that downloaded though, it's a very quick process. And Ubuntu, Ubuntu's nice, it's really fast to load. And everything's, it's basically Windows, but everything is free. So there you go, that was really simple. That was how to install Ubuntu onto a flash drive. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. There'll be more tutorials in the future.